One of the things I love about Boosteroid is that they offer some of the biggest titles in AAA gaming. This includes the Master Chief Collection. If you are a returning viewer of the channel, you might know about the other videos we have on how well games play on Boosteroid. If not, we're going to go through the pros and cons of playing the Master Chief Collection and what to expect while playing on Boosteroid. Buckle in. Boosteroid has the Master Chief Collection available through the Steam platform, so make sure you have your Steam credentials handy. You will also need your Xbox Live credentials to sign into the game, because the Master Chief Collection uses this to save your profile throughout all the games. Just be wary that Microsoft might ask you to verify your account, because it might think you are a foreign login. I usually check the settings on every game I play for the first time to see if things will play the way I'm used to. I am using an Xbox One controller, and I went into the settings to see if I can invert my pitch. What I got was an error to set required actions to a key. I had to do this just to leave the settings screen. So if you see this error, make sure you reset everything to default settings, and then change what you need to change to play the game the way you want to. For this video, I will use Halo Reach since it's the default game in the lineup. Boosteroid has Reach and Combat Evolved available for multiplayer, so Reach is the best bet for having a good balance between a modern Halo and the classic. I'm going to go over playing the single player campaign and playing multiplayer in Boosteroid. I've been playing the Reach campaign on other platforms, so I'm actually pretty fresh. So the thing about playing on Boosteroid is, is you have to get used to the lag, as expected. I am playing in the USA, and Boosteroid servers are in Europe, so the latency is expected to be bad. Now, is the lag really as bad as you think it's going to be? Well, surprisingly, no. Once I got used to the slight delay, it really wasn't that bad. Granted, I am a seasoned Halo veteran, and I've been playing Halo since it came out in 2001, so the things like the noob combo, rocket jumping, and other Halo tricks are just part of my arsenal. I use the noob combo plenty since I prefer playing on heroic with four difficulty skills. For me, legendary is just not an enjoyable time when I'm trying to play casually. But playing on heroic with additional difficulty skulls is the perfect balance for me. As you can see, aiming takes some time to get used to, to get those precision headshots on grunts, and getting around those shields with jackals. But about 10 minutes into the mission, you'll get the hang of it. I think the hardest part with the lag is dealing with the elites. Because the elites are so fast, it can be a real challenge to hit these elites with the noob combo especially when they move side to side. If the side dodges tick you off normally, they're really gonna mess you up in Boosteroid. Expect the general difficulty to increase slightly for everything, but other than this, things should play smoothly. As you can see, I've had very few hiccups and FPS dips throughout my whole gameplay, even when dying. Slayer. Now for everyone's favorite, multiplayer. Boosteroid offers multiplayer matches from Reach and Combat Evolved only. I've played a number of Reach games trying to reacquaint myself with Halo multiplayer. Reach has always been a solid multiplayer experience for me. Even if you are an experienced Halo multiplayer veteran who is fresh, that lag still takes a stinging toll. Again, you do get the hang of it to get the kills that you do, but it still feels like you're playing with one hand behind your back. And I never play with the assault rifle, and I just had to, just to feel like I was actually landing some shots. When you start to get the hang of it, you'll realize that timing your shots and your grenades is essential. Yeah, you'll be playing slower because you have to engage differently, and you can guarantee that there will be many lucky kills in your KD ratio, but multiplayer 
isn't really that bad of an experience. Now, I'm not gonna lie to you and tell you I did really well in these games. Nope. For every kill you see me getting here, there's at least three or four deaths with it. So depending upon your skill, you probably won't be the top of the leaderboard, especially with good players. I would only play social games on Boosteroid if you play multiplayer. And because of this, I would also consider anything above last place on your team as an acceptable performance. That's my general experience with the Master Chief Collection on Boosteroid. My overall review is actually more favorable than playing Modern Warfare on Boosteroid. With some more practice, I bet I can actually do some damage. Socially, that is. If you're a European and you have a great connection to Boosteroid, you should have a great experience. Lucky you. For the latest news, gameplay, and comparisons on cloud gaming, including Boosteroid, subscribe and stay tuned right here at the only place where you can do battle in gaming heaven, cloud gaming battle.